Karibu tena double updates popote pale ulipo mtazamaji wangu. Mimi na Tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa. Ni chebisa double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa. Moses Kuria ameamua kama mbaya mbaya. Na hapa kuna kitu ambacho kinaendelea kati ya Moses Kuria na Rigathi Gashagwa. Mnakumbuka juzi kati hapa Gashagwa ali muomba msamaa uh, mama Ngina kasema kwamba kwa sababu ya siasa uh, mwaka 2022 kulikuwa na mambo mengi sana na um, kulingana na vitu vilivyoenda anahisi ni kama walimkosea heshima mamake Uhuru Kenyatta kwa hiyo ameomba msamaa au aliomba msamaa akasema kwamba jamani mimi naomba nisamehewe kwa sababu kitu ambacho kilifanyika ni kitu ambacho tunaweza tukasema ni kama ku kosa heshima kwa watu wazima kwa wazee so watu wali react uh, uh, vitu tofauti tofauti so Moses Kuria <laughs> Moses Kuria amekuja hapa akasema apologize to all Kenyans CS Kuria says after DP Gashagwa apologized to Mama Ngina so Moses Kuria naye amekuja akamwambia jamani sawa atukatai umesema Mama Ngina kusamehe kwa sababu inaonekana ulimkosea heshima but Moses Kuria kusimama na kusema kwamba unatakiwa kuomba wa Kenya wote msamaa then kuna mambo hapa mtazamaji wangu. So mimi nitakupa story jinsi ilivyo. Afu I, I think sasa hata tukizungumzia utakuwa unajua Moses Kuria alisema nini na ni kwa sababu gani alisema hivyo. So story inaanza Cabinet Secretary for Public Service Performance and Delivery uh, Management Moses Kuria has urged politicians to apologize to all Kenyans for past mistakes. Kuria's sentiments come a day after Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa apologized to former First Lady Mamangina Kenyatta and urged her to forgive those who uh, demeaned her during the 2022 general election campaigns. So he ka atikobadi niendelea to exercise the demons of divisive politics of the past, we should apologize to all Kenyans from all communities. I offer my full and unqualified apology to any Kenyan from all communities that I may have wronged in the past. Kuria stated. Kuria's statement seems to be aimed at the, the deputy president with whom they have been silently battling for political supremacy in the Mount Kenya region. So unaona kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo uh, vimekuwa vikiendelea kati ya Moses Kuria na eh, Brigadi Gashagwa. So Gashagwa's apology speaking during an interview with Kameme Radio and TV Gashagwa turned Mamangina as a mother to the Mount Kenya region saying he made a mistake in demeaning her. I am sorry for involving Mamangina Kenyatta in the last general, uh, general elections politics. She is our mother. I there I, I therefore ask for forgiveness on behalf, on behalf of our team. I will never allow anyone to demean her or anyone from uh, the region Gashagwa said akaendelea kusema kwamba we plead with Mama Ngina as our mother to forgive us in our community we do not throw insults at our parents we need to change even if we are in competition a parent remains a parent so hiyo ndio ilikuwa ni uh, namna ambavyo alinyosha maelezo regarding Gashagwa so unaambiwa kwamba hata hawa watu kubadilishana maneno au mmoja kumjibu mtu mwingine kwa njia ambayo watu wanaona kama ni ugomvi fulani hapa unaambiwa kwamba sio mara ya kwanza wanabadilishana maneno as you can see hapa Kuria Gashagwa differ this is not the first time that Kuria and Gashagwa have differed publicly angalia in january the two differed over how the government will deal with illegal sect uh, mungiki Kuria said despite the group reemerging slowly cases of intimidation and death threats will not be appropriate way of handling the matter kipindi kile mnaona eh, mainanjenga anapelekwa speed sana oh ma, nani eh, mungiki sui imefanya nini sui nini stories zilikuwa nyingi sana uh, ikawa kina gashago anasema oh hatutakubali wafanye nini they were being threatened and ikawa inaonekana kwani wanataka kuwaua au ndo kitu gani ambayo walikuwa wanamaanisha but baadaye naye Moses Kuri naye ikawa anasema jamani swala la kuwa threatened sui nini sio njia nzuri ya ku handle story hii hapa i think wanataka kutafuta njia nyingine nzuri au wanataka kutafuta njia nyingine nzuri kabisa ambayo ingewaruhusu 
uh, kudeal na uh, genge la Mungiki mtazamaji wangu. Now, young people from Mount Kenya will not be killed in the name of Mungiki. I am ready to pay every price for this but I will not allow them to be killed or intimidated. Leaders from the Mount Kenya region should look for a better way to handle this matter. Intimidation will never work, he said. On his side, Gashagwa assured that the government will not allow the mushrooming of the illegal Mugiki sect, uh, urging the youth to shun attempts to be initiated in the outlawed group. So, unajua Gashagwa mnamjua vizuri. Ye kwa upanda wake uh, vitisho vikuwa vingi and inonekana siu mtu kipatikana siu mungiki unasu na pigwa ama siu nafanyua nini so i think kwa upande wake Moses Kuria naye aliona mm, mm. sitakubali ya watu wa wale ama sitakubali ya watu wa wa wa, wa, wa wanapelekewa vitisho na, na mambo kama hayo i think kuna nyingine tena uh, on his side Gashago assured that uh, government will not allow mushrooming of illegal mungiki uh, section urging the youth to uh, shun attempt to be initiated in the outer group an attempt is being made to revive the criminal gang and two months ago they had started collecting money from uh, uh, toting stages uh, hardware and housing women I don't want our leaders to be intimidated because those are few individuals he said but in another incident sasa hii ni nyingine tena Kuria said that the current approach by the government to fight alcoholism which Gashagwa leads lacks the intellectual aspect. <laughs> eh? Kuria hako anambembeleza. Kuria alikuwa anamchapa ukweli. I'm here and calling for a third approach. There is an intellectual approach which is really totally missing. Kuria said, drumming suffer for the fatherly situation, terming it as a work in a progress. But according to Kuria, the problem of illicit brew in the market emanates from the taxation system which has seen manufacturer either evade taxes or use illegal in, in, in uh, ingredients to make alcohol the war against illicit alcohol can only be won if it's approached from the producers uh, pers uh, per, uh, perspective rather than consumers he had it so novita i think novita boy inaendelea sasa hivi um vita ya ya, ya, ya illicit brew pombe and kitu ambacho kinaendelea sasa hivi ni kwamba regard i think anatumia wale machief machief wana wana connect na maafisa wa polisi so maafisa wa polisi sasa hivi wanaingia wana, wana sana kwenye mabaa wamefunga by the way vilabu wamefunga when the spirit wapi huko wamefunga funga so kuria naye kana anasema a a itakuwa ni vigumu sana uh, kwa nyie kumaliza pombe haram kwa kuwafunga vilabu alafu mnaacha vingine na mnaacha kabisa wale ambao wanatengeneza so kuria ikawa anamwambia na huwa anamwambia publicly you know hakuna kitu ambacho kuria huwa anaficha so ikawa anamwambia hapana inabidi muende kwa wale ambao wanatengeneza eh wale ambao wanatengeneza from scratch wale mkizima hata hawa hawatapata sempa kuinunua kwa hiyo mkizima wale huku itakuwa ni vigumu sana watu hawatafanya nini hawataenda huko kuchukua na kama hawataenda kuchukua inamaanisha hata wanaununua hawataipa hawataipata tena mtazamaji wangu so Watu wamekuwa wakijiuliza maswali mengi sana ni kitu kipi ambacho labda kinaendelea kati ya e, Moses Kuria na Rigathi Gashagwa kwa sababu wamekuwa wakibadilishana maneno tena publicly and kuna kipindi kama reshuffle ilifanyika and uh, ba, baada ya reshuffle kulitokea maneno na Moses Kuria alikuwa alikuwa na uchungu fulani tu yani kama ulimfuatilia after reshuffle alikuwa na uchungu fulani and maneno yakaja yakatoka kwamba kuna namna fulani eh, Brigade Gashagwa na, na watu wengine walihusika kwenye yeye kutolewa kwenye ile nafasi ya trade na kuwekwa kwenye nafasi nyingine tena na ni kitu ambacho kilimnyanganya kili uh, points nyingi sana mshashikuru kwa sababu mshashiku alionekana mtu fulani ambaye hajui trade na ndo miongoni ni, ni watu ambao walikuwa wanaaminiwa sana kwenye hiyo sekta kwa sababu mshashikuru na trader wana historia eh ana historia nzuri sana ku upande wa trade but alipotolewa ilikaa vibaya sana kwake yeye na alikuwa na stress nyingi sana alipofanyiwa hivyo but uh, baadaye alikuja kukubali and uh, mpaka sasa hivi bado anaendelea na kumbuka hata kuna kipindi oh, oh msusukuru anataka kutolewa uh, nikaona Rigathi Gashagwa alirudi chini akasema msusukuru ni mtoto wao si nini aweze kafukuzwa kama bado yupo stories zikawa nyingi sana mtazamaji wangu so nataka tuangalie hapa anamaanisha nini kuria anaposema kwamba hapa Rigathi Gashagwa wanatakiwa ku apologize. Wanatakiwa kuomba msamaha wa Kenya wote. Yaani Kenya nzima anatakiwa kuomba msamaha. Anamaanisha nini? I think ndio kitu ambacho tunatakiwa kuangalia kwa sasa hivi. And and kitu ambacho naweza nikasema Moses Kuria anamaanisha sio mama ngina tu ulikosea wewe Rigathi Gashagwa. Ulikosea watu wengi sana. Sio mama ngina tu. 
Kwa hiyo kuomba mama ngina akusamehee. Kuomba mama ngina msamaha. Na hauombi wa Kenya wengine au sehemu zingine ambazo labda ulifanya makosa. Ni sawa na ku kudarau labda au kuona kwamba makosa ambayo ulifanyia watu wengine haili serve. Kuombewa nini? Kuombewa msamaha lakini kule unaomba msamaha. I think ndio kitu ambacho anajaribu kutuonyesha. It's very simple. Sawa ulikosea mama ngina, umemwomba msamaha there is no problem. But je, yeah, watu wengine ambao uliwafanyia vibaya itakwaje? So lakini pia ukiangalia hapa vizuri kuna kitu ambacho anajua Moses Kuria ambao labda sisi hatujui. Unajua kuna mambo mengine ambayo sisi tunaweza tukawa tunaona tu like eh hey, imefanyika hivi, imefanyika hivi. But deep down kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo yanaendelea. Mimi naamini kutokana au kulingana na hii statement ya Moses Kuria kwamba uh, you are supposed to apologize to uh, other Kenyans. Trust me there is something ambayo anaijua Moses Kuria but uh, the only way anaweza akamwambia kwamba kashagwa anajua what's going on so hakikisha kwamba unaomba msamaha huku kwote kwa sababu hawezi akasema kitu kama hiko after uh, uh, nani after regarding kashagwa kuongea hawezi akatoka tu from nowhere labda kutafuta sui nini there is something yeye anajua ambayo sisi hatujui na ukiangalia hapo uh, same tu ambazo tunaweza tukagusia moja ni maandamano kwa sababu wakati wa maandamano yeye alikuwa front kabisa kupanga maafisa wa polisi namna ambavyo walitakiwa ku na watu ambao walikuwa wanafanya maandamano namna ya ku na watu ambao walikuwa na e, pigana na kina Raila Odinga huko wale, wale ambao walikuwa na plain clothes na nini anahusika by the way na I'm very sure alihusika uh, regarding kwa sababu kipindi kipindi kile ah, alikuwa na safiri sana William Samoeuto na yeye ndo alikuwa pale so inamaanisha yeye alikuwa anampa tu taarifa William Samoeuto anaposafiri number 2 uh, swala hata la jubilee Uh, apart from mamangina kuna uhuru kinyata huku and kuna watu wengi tu ambao hawakufeel vizuri namna ambavyo yeye yeah, alikuwa anafurahia jubilee ikibomolewa wakivurutana na nina mambo kama hayo kwa sababu uh, unakuta kwamba the same same time uh, jubilee kulikuwa na issues nyingi and the same same time wao walikuwa wanaona na hawaongei chochote in fact they were very happy na walikuwa wanakaribisha and walikuwa wanaona kabisa namna ambavyo walikuwa na struggle sana uhuru kinyata kukaa na chama chake mpaka wanatuma sio kina nani waende wafunge nini na mambo kama hayo na pia mama ngina yupo hapo ndani but uh, naweza nikasema kwamba Moses Kuria na Rigathi Gashagwa ki, 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 ki urahisi ni kwamba hawa ni wanasiasa ambao hawaelewani and it's normal not that ni kitu ambacho kinashangaza sana hawa ni wanasiasa ambao hawasikilizani ni kama hawaelewani and uh, it's allowed kwa siasa yani hata kama mnatoka nyumba moja it's allowed huyu anaweza akawa mpendi yule kwa sababu labda wana vitu vyao ambavyo ni vya kibinafsi ambavyo mwisho siku sisi hatuwezi tukaingilia tukasema ah mbona nani anachukia nani nani mbona hapendi nani na mambo kama hayo so i think wao wenyewe ndo wanajua the reason why huwa labda hawapatani but wametudhibitishia kwamba hawapatani so una maoni gani kuhusu kitu ambacho tumekizungumzia sasa hivi unahisi kuna tatizo kati ya Moses Kuria na Gashagwa na unaizungumziaje swala la Moses Kuria kumwambia Gashagwa omba msamaha kwa wakenya wote sio kwa mtu mmoja lakini pia anaweza akawa anamaanisha serikali ya Kenya kwanza ku you never know anaweza akawa mimi niliwaambia kitu labda mmekataa so vitu vime fail so angalieni namna ambavyo inawezekana pia hiyo unajua mtu anaweza akaona kama ah mbona kama hiyo haiwezekani but inawezekana anaweza akawa anaongea hivyo ili waombe msamaha kwa sababu vitu havijakuwa vikiendelea vikifanya kazi vizuri but hiyo kidogo nilikuwa na, na wasiwasi nayo kwa sababu na yeye pia yuko, yupo kwenye serikali unaelewa but kwa sababu yule yuko ngazi nyingine ya juu anaweza akatumia hiyo kumpiga na akamwambia kwamba hebu omba msamaha Kenya nzima kwa sababu mmekosea watu sana unaelewa mtazamaji wangu so hebu niambie unaizungumziaje uh, swala hilo na kama una maoni nyingine tofauti na ya kwangu unaweza kaniacha hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kitu kikubwa ni subscribe wewe mgeni ambaye tumekutana kwa mara ya kwanza hiyo itakupa nafasi ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye